What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Dutchman, not men. <laughs> the Dutch are coming! In the last episode, we completed Sandy's Tree Dome, Squidward got captured, uh, we found out Plankton opened up a place called Chum World, it's an amazing amusement park that looks really fun. I mean, evil, horrible. <laughs> Worst place ever. Then we gotta take a jellyfish fields, because it turns out Plankton's going there for some reason instead of his own place he just opened, Chum World. So uh, let's follow him and see what his evil plans are, shall we? Also, we also found out last episode that Plankton was disguised as Mr. Krabs and a robot that exploded, so there's no trace of it. But Plankton was okay and he had no harm to him, even though he was inside. He was literally the ah, epicenter of the explosion. Playtime in jellyfish fields to make everything right again. Yay, playtime! <gasps> Meet Rusty Scupper at the bait shop. Also, funny how I was normal SpongeBob at the beginning of that cutscene, and then I immediately turned on the fishing SpongeBob right this right at the end there. Anyways, yeah, as you could imagine, there's a lot of jellyfish in here. Um, I don't think I missed any last or when I played before. You know, I didn't miss any, and I, I'm pretty sure I did run into issues though, where I was like, I don't know where it is. I'm so confused, and these swings are really freaking obnoxious. Oh, I got up here. Nice. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Heh. Ooh. Uh, okay, I was gonna say, I better got at least one. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yes. Okay, that's fine. And then, the last one. Freaking swings, man. Anything that, like, moves and you have to get the balloons on, or coins in general in games, are pretty obnoxious. Wow, that guy tried to attack me, too, didn't he? Yay! So many things, and there's a changing station right there. So what are we missing? We have the fishing gear. We have square pants, obviously. We have mermaid man. Reef floor is the only thing missing. Interesting. I wonder when we'll unlock that. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. It's this one. <laughs> At this level, not this one. Um. Okay, let's keep climbing. I guess. A lot of people actually don't like jellyfish fields, but from what I played of it which is all of it. It seemed pretty fun. I, there was one thing I had a lot of issues with, and obviously I'm going to explain that once I get to it. But um, I, for the most part, like I thought it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. So maybe I'm in the minority. I mean, I did have to look up some stuff, and uh, I found out that a lot of people don't really enjoy this level that much. So I'm really curious. What do you guys think of this level? Did you like it? Was it fun? Is it horrible? Zero out of ten mates would not play again. See, because I thought, yeah, like I said, I thought it was pretty fun. I had no issues with it. I had no issue tissues. Let's uh, finish exploring down here before we move on. Okay, I thought there was more platforms over here. Yeah, this way. Uh, and there's... Have we seen... Oh, yeah, I guess we did see these guys downtown, didn't we? What a weird enemy. Just snails. <laughs> uh, I guess they don't really have much, many options for enemies. But you'd think they wouldn't use, like, you know, Gary the Snails. Who's Gary the Snails to attack me? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this current doesn't push you. Oh, you can even go inside. That's cool. I didn't know that. Uh-oh. No, oh, please don't fall down. Even though I know the water doesn't push you here, it's still scary to jump on. I'm pretty sure if you jumped in the water up there, it would push you. Stop pushing me, man. There's all these beautiful rainbows just hanging out. Hanging out, relaxing, and maxing all cool. Oh, God, it's a jellyfish. And yeah, there's a dude right there as well, which is hilarious. The jellyfish is really high for some reason. Because he's so high, I, I. And there's these guys, which is weird. They're so, they're so big and giant, and they don't care about the world. And even though they're here, it's, it makes the world still feel pretty empty, because you can't really interact with them. It's just a platform. Wow, look at the way he's blinking! If you could call it that, his upper eyelid switch... And his pupils disappear. That's how he's... Wow, that's really creepy. Good God, he looks like he hates his life. <laughs> uh, anyways, like I say, if you jump in the air, current here, push you. Holy crap, that pushed me a lot quicker than I thought I was going to. So, I think that's it for down here, right? Yeah. I guess we can move on now. There's more of this first area than that, but okay. Now we climb. And avoid the evil snail. How dare someone let their children play over there all willy-nilly when there's just an evil stray snail attacking people on this side of the freaking water. All he has to do is cross that bridge. Granted, it would take him a few months to cross that bridge because he's all slow and stuff. 
But still, he would cross it eventually. Can I not? Can I not get over there? This way? No? How do I get up here? Ah, I catch a game. I gotta go this away. I gotta go this away. Let's see, let's see how fast this takes me. Okay, that's not as quick for some reason. Okay, I'll take it though. Let's go left first. I'm still not. Oh, camera. I'm still not super used to these maps, so excuse me if I'm, you know, I'm not gonna be missing stuff. So I'm gonna be getting 100 percent. But I might be like, eh, let's go this way first. Oh no, I should have went that way first. There we go. There we go. So just, let's see, is this guy gonna attack me? Does he follow me? He does follow me. Okay, so the gold ones do. What about the red ones? Here's a good time. Next week. Is he just faster, maybe? He just kind of does whatever he wants. Maybe the red ones are just kind of indifferent to the world, you know? They don't care. They're gangsters. They're G's. They're G thugs. <laughs> There's a pink jellyfish there, too. So, yeah, some of the jellyfish are definitely hard to spot because sometimes they'll go on like a route. Like, oh, he's up there now. They'll go on a route that you can only catch them in certain spots because otherwise they're like too high. I, I, I. See, like there. Now he's way too high for me to catch. So I gotta wait for him to come around. Sometimes he's so high. I, 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 high above me. He's so lovely. Ah, uh, no. And you can only hit. You can only swing your net once. Come on. Yeah, there we go. I'm pretty sure we can't get that underpass from here. What a weird thing to put up there. You'd think they'd put, like, I don't know, money or something more worthwhile up there. I mean, money isn't really worthwhile, but it, like, it, it's more effective than just health, right? Health is, like, kind of the smallest thing you can give somebody. Unless they're really bad at the game, but... Go away, jellyfish or snail. No, jellyfish, you can come here. Okay, let's see what the blue guy does when I go near him. Does he run away from me? I think he's running away from me. Kind of to tell, to be honest. Okay, now I need health. <laughs> I'm gonna complain about health being difficult to get. And I need it. I mean, stupidly difficult to get. Unnecessarily difficult to get. Look at that Gary the Snail down there being all silly. He's so silly. Climb up here. Yeah, son. Actually, I think that way we don't want to go yet. Do you, however, want to... Oh, can I... Here we go. Um, is there not? There's one more. Okay, I'm pretty sure we get the, the those pants from here. But I thought there was actually another way to go from here. Maybe not. Maybe this was the platform I just forgot about. So I remember looking at this area from farther back and seeing a doubloon I missed. But I think that was that one I just got there. We have to go this way. <gasps> There's plankton. Get him! You don't. The bus in Bikini Bottom, but you need a special bus ticket that also works for the ferry. And I don't think an employee of Mr. Krabs is gonna get one of those from me. Even if I want to spend all my sand dollars at Chum World and make you rich. Nice try, but all those holes in your head must have dried out your brain. I gave special instructions to all my Chum World clowns not to give you a bus ticket. Oh, and if you see one of my clowns here in Jellyfish Fields, tell him to stop fooling around and get back to work! So how come you're just kind of here, Plankton, just kind of running around in circles? He never does anything, he just kind of stays here. Where does this go? To Jellyfish Cliffs. Let's not go that way yet. Actually, I'm really, actually, I'm curious, what way does this go? Because the way Jellyfish Fields works, it isn't like linear, there's a lot of different sections in here. So maybe we should, maybe maybe we can go this way and have no bad things happen. Although it would be kind of out of order of the areas to go to. Hmm. I guess we can go this way. Yeah, why not? Let's let's kind of go off the grid here. Oh, oh yeah, we're actually coming up to the thing I had to look up how to do since I had no idea. Could not figure it out for the life of me. This is the last thing to get in jellyfish fields coming up here. But uh, we're actually about to meet someone we know. Oh, do you see him? Do you see him? Do you see him? I don't know what I'm saying like that for. He's right over there, you see. This path is very strange. It also, this this area right here reminds me a lot of Battle for Bikini Bottom. Oh, oh. 
What's wrong, Patrick? You look distressed, Patrick, big guy. Why aren't you jellyfishing with the rest of us? Are you okay? Aww. Oh, hi, SpongeBob. My tummy hurts. I think it was that funny square thing that I ate. I sure wish someone could get it out of my belly. Funny square thing. Hey, <laughs> I like how the squares appear at the bottom of the screen, too. So, yeah, you know, come to think of it, let's take a look at our to-do list. See what we got to do's. <laughs> Uh, win the jellyfish comp jellyfishing competition. Ooh, that sounds fun. Uh, herd the snails in the cor corral. Huh, I don't know what that's about. Foot race with Patrick. <gasps> that Patrick's right here. On the prow of the ship. Pearl switching puzzle. Oh, yeah, I couldn't remember what that one was for a second. Clam jumping. Ride the great white jellyfish. Oh, God, that one. Oh, not looking forward to that. Into the hills. I don't know what that one is. Uh, collect 225 doubloons in jellyfish fields. Find the Dutchman's treasure. Meet Rusty Scupper at the bait shop. Defeat the clown for the Chum World Pass. Okay. Get out of my belly, square thingy. Not the square thingy. Okay, so this is the thing I had to look up on this game because... One of the few things I had to look up on this game to you because I could not get it for the life of me. What? I swear I tried that. Are you serious? All I have to do is hit him? Tasty square thingies, and it's all mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he not gonna laugh again? I thought he laughed again if he just waited long enough. Can we just make this jump? I'm not even sure. How does he make this jump? I'm curious. Oh, he just he just does it. Wow. Okay, that makes this race much more easy when you could just yeah. Oh, and then he just runs back, or he like goes back. He's so sad about it. Oh, never mind. He's happy. The way he's walking makes him look sad. So I thought this fire right here in this cave would have something to do with something. Oh, oh no! I didn't expect that to kill me! I forgot I had one health too! Whoa, okay, I thought Patrick was just floating there, but no, he's in the middle of his jump. Can I talk to him right now, I wonder? No, I gotta wait for him to go back. Oh, and there's health right here too. I definitely should have grabbed that. I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. I don't really want to jump down here until I talk to him again. Because once I jump down, it's kind of difficult to get up. Hey, there's snails down there. Is that what the corral thing is? Yeah, for some reason, I swear I tried hitting them, hitting him with my fishing nets when I played before, but it didn't do a dang thing. I think what I ended up doing is ground pounding on his, on him, and that seemed to work. What do you see now, Patrick? Not everything is supposed to go in your mouth, Patrick. You're just jealous that some of us find better snacks than you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember that, so I don't think I ever talked to him. That's it. Got it. Yeah, okay, now we can jump down here. Continue collecting all the things. There's a jellyfish. Oh, an aggressive jellyfish. There's snails down here. <gasps> wow. Oh, it's, this is the mother and these are the babies. The babies. That would be adorable if it wasn't for the fact that they're going to grow up and be assholes one day. Freaking assholes. Oh, no. Wow. I did not even see that guy. And it ended up being the jellyfish that hit me. Uh, camera, cooperate, please. No. I'm, stop hurting me. You need to zoom out more, camera. So many babies. So yeah, these are not the jellyfish. We've got a corral together. Wow, I did not see that guy. Either. Oh, are they supposed to disguise as rocks sometimes? That's kind of cool. Camouflage themselves. What the heck is that thing? A giant pink thing in the ground. Is it a weird rock? I don't know. <gasps> it's a giant jellyfish! Don't walk where that electricity is. It looks like a portal, doesn't it? No, if you walk into it, it immediately kills you. It's like falling off a cliff. It's exactly like falling off a cliff, actually. I'm pretty sure that jellyfish, though, just boosts you back up. <laughs> I didn't even hit you. Silly guy. He's hitting me! Uh, is there anything else down here? I thought there was. I still can't believe I touched that fire and I just immediately died. How very sad. Get in my net. Get in my net! Uh oh. No, I meant to freaking... Wait, what? Oh, I meant... I was getting mixed up between running and rolling for some reason. Because rolling is R and sneaking is L. There's this path up here. I don't think there's anything here. There's a jellyfish over here, though. Jellyfish! Get in my net! Bam. Eh, I'm not sure what this, what this does for me either. So yeah, once again, it doesn't boost you high enough to get up there. That's why I don't like 
I don't like this area so much. It's hard to get up once you fall down. It's not that I don't like the area. I think if you jump on this guy, it's... Yeah, there you go. That's how you get back up here. Not that we need to be up here again. There's actually another way to go, which is over here. I think we've completed this area. I hope we've completed this area. Might be a snail coming from my face. He is. Look at him. Wow, he looks giant. Also, he has, like... Look at his eyebrows. They're, like... There's, there's cuts in them. <laughs> cuts in the eyeballs. Where's this lead? No, I wish to know. Signs don't always pop up and tell you where you're going either, which is weird. Hello, can you tell me where I'm going, please? Oh, no, don't touch me. Wow, his mouth got huge. Like, dislocated his jaw like snakes do. Like snacks. Okay, fine, you're not going to tell me? Aha! So this is what I would call the last area here. There are more areas that I need to go to. I think two more after this. But there are other ways. Uh, but anyways, we're going to explore this part in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like and subscribing if you haven't already. If there's any games you want to recommend me to play, take a look at the top link in my description. It'll easy to a video where you can leave suggestions. In the next one, we will get the Chum World Pass, actually. Yep. Talk to you guys later. Bob. I can't. But bye. I don't know. It wouldn't let me swing my net for some reason. I was, I was doing it. It wasn't working. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.